Hey everybody, welcome back to the old Swedes farm. It's Rich. I didn't think I was going to put out another video uh, before Christmas, but I've had a lot of questions. As you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Let me uh, come over here. We're in blizzard conditions. It is uh, 12 below, and with the wind, it is uh, 38 degrees below zero. Now, I, it's hard to tell because everything kind of being whited out. We've got two foot drifts. I just cleaned this out a few hours ago. It is just blowing nasty. So here's my here's my trek to the. You know what? I'll uh, spin. I'm gonna spin this around so I can see what I'm filming. Cause I'm gonna get out of the cold. But I gotta kind of meander my way through to uh, get to the barn. My path is all filled up with a couple feet of snow and we got this big drift running. Um, it's just amazing. Some places it has just taken all the snow and sculpted it right off and other spots we've got, you know, four foot drifts and the fields are just full of drifts. So I'm going to take you inside. Um, the girls. Wow. People have been asking what we uh, what we do to uh, keep the girls warm. You know, what's the secret recipe? Um, you can see our our girls right now. We're getting into production mode, so uh, some of the girls are in laying, but others are out here. So, want to show you what we do. You know, business as usual. On the waterers. Now you can see they've spilled a little bit. We're getting a little bit of ice buildup. Otherwise, the, the plugged in water heaters, they're working great. It's 15 below. And uh, you know, let me show you. Let's see what it is in the barn here. I brought out the thermometer. So that thing shows that inside we're at 24 degrees. Let's see what it is down here. Now we're doing deep litter. 28 degrees. So it's 28 degrees on the floor. Let me take one more reading just to see. Yep, 28.3 degrees down on the floor. So something's working, our deep litter. Now, what I'm going to do today, the girls are going to be inside today, uh, tomorrow, uh, which is uh, Christmas uh, Eve and probably Christmas Day. They're gonna be inside for three days for sure. I'll come out and open the door every now and then even though it's 15 below. Um, but let me show you. Here, here's what we're gonna, here's what I'm doing today to uh, get them going. Now I've got, um, brought out a bale of straw and they love that. So what I'm doing is just taking these chunks of straw And I'm gonna put them just break up the bale and set her on. Instantly, they're gonna be, see how they're getting in there and scratching and pecking and looking around? They're gonna find things. So I've got three things I'm gonna I'm gonna do this morning. One, just move these uh, move these bales around and the girls love that. The other thing we I did in anticipation for days like this I kept some pumpkins and so uh, I brought one of the pumpkins out now they're gonna start pecking at that even though it's frozen solid and they're gonna see they're already checking it out. What I'm doing is giving them some food and I'm giving them a boredom buster. Um, but, um, at the same time, let me spin you around. I'm giving them a boredom buster. Um, they are breaking apart that bale. Come on, girls, plenty of straw to go around. Um, they're breaking up the straw, but at the same time, they're spreading it around with their droppings 
and continuing the deep litter. Now you saw it's 15 below, but on the ground, it's 28. That deep litter is providing them with heat um, to keep their feet warm, to keep them warm, to keep the whole barn warm. Um, you know, 15 below outside and 20, uh, 28 on the floor and uh, even on the cold door, 24 degrees, that's all right. Um, that's some, some real heat. Now one other thing I'm doing, uh, we got a couple of girls coming out of mold, throwing a little grub terror around a couple times a day. They've got their, excuse me girls, coming through. Don't want to step on anybody. Um, they've got their normal feeders. We got the, the two bulk feeders. Uh, so they've got their normal food and that's what I want their, uh, that's what I want their normal food to be. But um, twice a day I'm coming out and I'm bringing a couple of uh, containers of cracked corn. Now all I'm doing is running around sprinkling it on the floor. You can hear them cooing and oh yeah. Making the rounds here. Look at that. Again, two purposes. Uh, the first one, it gives them food. Get that corn in them, let them heat up, and uh, um, get some internal heat inside them. But what they're doing when they're pecking for that corn, uh, instead of putting it in a dish for them, spreading it around like that, they're uh, scratching and mixing their, their poop in with, the, uh, in with the straw, promoting that deep litter again, getting it all mixed up. So this is gonna go on all day. Um, this will go on all day. They'll be scratching. I brought out another, another bowl. Um, but doing this twice a day, they're turning over the, the straw. They're uh, mixing everything up. They're not getting bored and beating each other up. Um, that pumpkin gives them something else to, uh, there we go. Go get it, girls. Um, that pumpkin gives them some extra food and they're happy. So anyways, um, people have been asking, what are we doing to keep the girls warm? We're doing a few things. If you can do that, keep them out of the breeze, um, provide them with uh, some deep litter. Um, and this, I started this, you know, we started this uh, a month plus ago. Um, to get that heat built up for days just like this and then bringing out treats, your girls are going to be happy. So this will keep our girls happy. Um, one other thing, yesterday, you know, we've got 60 girls. Production has slowed a little bit. Um, but yesterday, 43 eggs. We're getting uh, any, we're, we're averaging about 45, but 43 to 48 each day, um, which is not bad. So uh, we're... We're getting well more than the three dozen that uh, our customers want. But uh, production has not been impacted even though they're, they've been inside for a couple days with the extreme cold and it's been uh, 15 below. Um, and one other thing, let me just show you. I don't know if you can see on her back, on the back of the brown, see how she's got frost? Oh, she's gonna run away. People have been concerned. Let's see if I can find another one. People have been concerned that they've got some chickens with frost on their back. See that? She's got frost on her back. Don't be alarmed by that. She's got a good thick coat of down um, underneath. And yes, it's frost. She sticks her head back. Uh, at the end of this, I'll connect you to the another video about keeping chickens warm. She stuck her head back during the night and buried her head in her feathers. Well, as she's breathing, she's letting off a little bit of steam. That's making the, the frost in there. It has nothing to do, people are asking if it has to do with their ventilation in their coop, no. And it's fine. That, that frost will go away in a couple days when it warms up. Um, but until then, she's gonna have a little frost on those top feathers. It's all condensation from her breathing. 
It's nothing to be worried about. She's not going to get frostbite. Um, so she's good. I don't know. Oh, a long rambling uh, note, but uh, our girls seem to be hunkered down and good. Most of them, you know, we got a we got a few of the in the nesting box, and a couple huddled over there. Um, there's one girl. I got some wood over there. She's huddled, making a little quiet nest out of the way. Um, otherwise, today these girls are going to be scratching. They're going to be moving around. Uh, they're going to be enjoying the deep litter and staying warm. So long-winded, as I said. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, if this helped, let me know. If there's other questions you've got on keeping your chickens warm, let me know. We've got a couple years of knowledge, or several years of knowledge now, and uh, we'd love to help you out. But our girls are doing just fine. Everybody take care.